Oh, that's very big. Hello, and welcome to the second devlog for Laserball. This week, I have mainly spent the time trying to tweak some things with the player movement and the abilities. So let's have a look. So what I was looking to do was basically add more control over the movement because before you could jump a certain amount of times, which you could st which is still the case. But now, once you're in the air, you have a button which you can press where you can just dash really quickly. So here we go. That's me dashing right now. So it just means you can get to the ball a lot more easier. So what I did as well to add more control, I made it so that it's only when you are, only when you're holding the um, hit button, that's the only time you can curve it after you've hit it. And whilst the button's held down, I don't move. Uh, that's just to stop it so that after you hit it and you're curving it using your analog, you don't just use your, also use your analog to walk off the edge of a, of a building or whatever. <laughs> So another thing I did uh, last week was set up a different sort of player select UI just to make it look more professional. Um, the previous one didn't look that, just looked a bit amateur. There's still room for improvement. I, I'm, I can constantly change this until the game's made, you know, it's just keep building upon it. Uh, but currently, uh, this new character select screen. Um, I just wanted to make it more sleek. I um, took some inspiration from other games, just, just sort of looked at what they, they have and, and uh, what I can add to mine just to make it look better. Added a bit of movement in the um, UI when you're selecting your characters. So you go, colour select here. Just added, made it a lot more dynamic, a lot more cool looking. And you've got your DJ select. So I didn't talk about this last time, DJ select. I want the music and the, the DJ, picking your DJ to be a big part of it. So the atmosphere for this game is a sort of like an underground rave, like a Colosseum, Roman Colosseum, like a club, like a concert, where it's just that atmosphere of the whole crowd is cheering and like, jeering <laughs> there's lasers flying around explosions there's and then i was thinking that you've got this dj in the back who's like spinning some beats and this and it's just like <laughs> bass is like in the background just giving that sort of like party atmosphere sort of thing. So I wanted the music to be a really big part of this um, and so I thought if you pick your DJ um, it gets you more involved in the sort of music you want to listen in each match and then it picks a random one between everyone's DJs and and that's the DJ for your match. I was also thinking DJs could, rather than just being like a cosmetic, they could also maybe give a little buff or yet to see. Um, there's a lot of little adjustments and things that could be added and taken away and changed. And really it just needs to be played and, and, and just to see what works and what doesn't. So I definitely need play testers to make sure that these controls are actually working. Because what I really don't want is for the controls to hold you back. I don't mind if the controls are hard, because they are, they're, they're quite difficult trying to get the, the direction, get the angles right. Um, but once you get used to it, uh, you feel pretty good just get into that space and hitting it in the exact place you want to hit it. But it's got that learning curve, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. It's if someone felt they couldn't get the controls because the controls weren't doing what they wanted them to do, then I think that would be bad game design and I would try to avoid that. Yeah, let me know if you have any ideas, if you like the game, and that's it. So, have a nice day and I'll see you around.